What is good steppers welcome back to another video in today's video I'm going to share with you guys how I plan on making an extra fifty to a hundred thousand dollars by the end of this year So if you're somebody that's looking for an extra income, then I suggest you go ahead and watch the whole video Now I just want to say that before we get this video started sorry about the clothes and the mess that's behind me Um, I was literally in the middle of cleaning my room because I'm trying to do I'm trying to set up something. I'm gonna drop a video on that soon. But I'm trying to set up something in my room and yes, yeah, so that's why I have clothes everywhere. I'm trying to just switch the place up. But I apologize for my room uh, for being so messy and look the way it is. But yeah. What's good steppers so yeah so i'm right now i'm going to share with you guys how i plan on making an extra fifty two hundred thousand dollars by the end by the end of this year and i know we halfway there so it's gonna be a little bit challenging to do that but hey um if you need money i need money to invest i need extra income to go and put into my investment and stuff like that so i plan on doing these two things right here and i'm going to share with you guys as well so in case uh, anybody looking for any extra income or anybody looking to work for themselves and the sorts sort of things like that um so you guys be able to get the idea and actually put it to use i'll show you guys what it's like to be doing either or or um what it feel like what do we what do we what it would be like if you decide to go ahead and just combine them both together um so the first one i plan on doing is being a notary slash loan signing agent um so what the, what's a notary a notary is technically a witness um a witness um having somebody signing paperwork um could be loan it could be loans it could be documents it could be deeds it could be will it could be marriage license um marriage paperwork and stuff like that so that's what a notary does technically you're a witness um you're a certified witness um represent the whatever um and what you do technically is showing up and you walk people through the documents and also also explain to them exactly what's going on um in a way but without telling them exactly what they're doing so technically it's like hey um i'm putting i'm coming to you you signing this documents right here and this document will represent that you're doing this and then so on that's it um but technically um that is one way uh, i plan on doing it um but let's go ahead and actually add it up and do the math behind this because you got to be able to break it down um so i'll go ahead and do the math for 100k and then i'll go ahead and do the math for 50k um so uh loan signing agent what i do i'll go ahead and put screenshot up here so you can see exactly what i get my research from i do it from google but loan signing agent um is different actually loan signing agent is actually different than notary but they like in the same leg category i'll say um so a loan signing agent actually help with um loans <laughs> uh technically when you get a mortgage um you need a loan signing agent you need somebody to be a certified loan signing agent not just a notary but they also have to uh, specialize in the loan signing um part i guess you could say um so that's what a loan signing agent is um but when you combine them both you'll be able to make significant amount of money um a loan signing agent usually meant more than just a notary um because notary um, you don't make money as much money as a loan signing agent um but you notarize loan paperwork when you are a loan signing agent <laughs> um but yeah so anyways uh, let's go ahead and get straight to the math because i love numbers and i like doing numbers but so let's say right now um we in the month of july because that's when i plan on doing no june sorry yeah this is the month of june so that's when i plan on releasing this video um so yeah we're in the month of june and let's say you want to be able to make 100k um from june to december so that's about six months that you have to be able to make 100k so yeah so if you do 100,000, right and then you divide that by six which is six months you need to make about sixteen thousand six hundred and sixty six. We just do sixteen thousand six hundred and sixty seven dollars um, every single month to be able to make that. And I know a lot of you guys probably saying that is a lot of money to be able to make per month. But hey, anything is possible as long as you believe in doing it. As long as you want to do it, go for it. But so that'd be about sixteen thousand a month. Um, if we break that down from sixteen thousand a month to about four weeks, which is uh, how many weeks in a month? So divided that by four. You're looking about a total of about $4,167 every single month um, to the rest of the year. Now, when it comes to a loan signing agent, um, you'd be able to get paid between an average cost of um, 70, you'd be able to get paid from $75 up the way up 
all the way up to two fifty, three hundred and fifty dollars. Um, depends on where you live in America. You know, depending on the market, depending on what 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 you're actually doing, be able to get paid up to a higher end. But they say on the average, alongside an agent, on the minimum, we'll be able to make a hundred dollars per signing on the average. Now, to be able to make uh, about four thousand dollars every single um, week doing a loan signing agent, or sixteen thousand dollars every single month doing loan agent work. So what you do is you go ahead and do 16,667 and then you divide divide that by 100 which is how many how much um you be averaging per per loan. So you're looking about 166 loan every single month. 167 um every single month. That is a lot of work. Um, now, and on average, uh, your loan signing agent works usually take anywhere from 45 up to an hour and a half. But they said the longer you do it, the more experience that you have usually average down to about an hour. So you're looking to work about 160, six, 167 hours, um, actually 167. 167 hours divided by for the month and divided by that by four looking to work about 40 hours a week you know now some people are actually working 40 hours a week and they only get paid about 15 20 dollars an hour once you do that math then you see how it was like the difference when it comes to that now that is if you want to make 100k um from now until december so from june to december if you want to make 100k you have to be working about 40 hours a week 42 hours a week um, on average and also have to be doing 167 loan agent i mean loans loan 167 loans uh, to be able to make the app the 100k now if you go in and want to add just an extra 50 we just go ahead and divide that by two so you only work about 22 hours 21 22 hours a week from monday to friday you do about four loans a day then Four times five, that's 20. If you do 20 loans, 20 times 100, it's about $2,000 every week. 2,000 times four, which is about how many weeks in a month? Um, you're looking about $8,000 for the month. And then if you do 8,000 times six, you're looking about, looking about $48,000 um, $48, that you'd be making um, if you just do loan agent. Now, there is one way I plan on, make, on adding an extra 50, $200,000 on on my income by the end of this year another way i plan on doing that is by doing wholesaling real estate wholesaling um real estate is something that i love even though i haven't got a chance to get into it well i did i did i got into a deal but it was a really bad deal um it wasn't a bad deal um what happened is the guy that put up the deal then um how you say it then um keep up with the contract. So he violated the contract. I actually have to go to court for that. And actually, but the deal went through, everything went through, but uh, I'll be going to court very soon to be able to get my portion of the deal. Um, but that was a bad experience because that was my first deal and the guy didn't head up his part of the contract or whatever. But anyways, the second way I plan on actually adding um, uh, 50, $200,000 of my income is by doing real, um, real estate wholesaling. Uh, so what's the wholesaling? Wholesaling is when Let's say you have a, what do you do? As a wholesaler, what you do is that you go and you look for a house. Let's say you find a house that the, and you, you ask the owner of the house, they want to sell the house and you try to convince them or persuade them. Let's say it's a brick, let's say it's a, it's a messed up house. Um, so you, let's say if they are willing to sell the house for about 50 to $75,000, right? So what you do is you lock that, you lock that, you lock down that price of the house for about 45,000. And then you just go ahead and find a buyer that's looking to buy or wholesale deals and then you present that deal to him. So let's say if you lock down the price for about $45,000, um, let's say if you lock that price down for 30 days and then you're going to find a buyer and sell it to the buyer for 55, what you do is you keep the difference. So you like the middleman. So you bought it for 45, um, an act of buying at 45 and then you technically sell it at 55. So what happened is there's a ten thousand dollars um difference and you get to keep that. Um, there's other fees that add on to it like you got um you gotta put in like cost of um advertising and cost of driving and stuff like that and then you um yeah but on the average they said that um real estate wholesaler make between five to ten thousand dollars every single deal that they have on the market. So if you're looking to add an extra income 
what you do, you go ahead and get going to go to the calculator again because you know I love math. That's me. Um, I love numbers. Numbers is just me. So if you're looking to make an extra fifty thousand um, dollars on doing wholesaling, what you do, you do fifty thousand, and you divide it by um, the cost per deal, which would be five thousand. So fifty thousand divided by five thousand, you just need in about ten deals from June to December. You just need about ten deals to be able to make that extra fifty thousand dollars. Now, how many deals is that equals in, in a month? So, um, so if you do ten divided by six, you need about two deals average a month. I say two deals. You know, you should always try to shoot higher than your goal, so that way, in case you don't meet your goal, and stay in case, in case you don't meet the what, what exactly that you want it higher, you still meet your goal. Uh, I don't know if you guys get what exactly I'm trying to say, but let's say if you go, if you go with us to actually um, make two deals a month, why not shoot for three deals? Because at certain months you might hit that three deals, but certain month you don't meet that three deals, so you average out to two deals still. Um, but yeah, so that is my plan on how I, that is my goal on how I plan on adding extra fifty, two hundred thousand um, dollars by the end of the year. Now, I know you guys probably say, why didn't you do $100,000? Now, let's go ahead and do $100,000. Now, if you're looking to add an extra $100,000 on your income, what you have to do is do $100,000 divided by 5,000, sorry, divided by 5,000. Looking, you just need about 20 deals. 20 deals uh, from here to December, and you'll be able to go ahead and add an extra $100,000 to your income. Now, those two stuff are not easy to do. It's not like you just wake up every day and be like, yo, okay, I'm just going to sell a house today. I mean, that should be your mindset every single day when you wake up. Yo, I'm going to sell a house today. Or yo, I'm going to um, do about four loans a day. You know what I mean? Um, now, that should be your mindset every single day to be able to um, work and actually work towards your goal and what you want to do. Um, that's my mindset um, most of the time. But sometimes I do take times off. Um, yeah. Now, let's say if you want to um, go ahead and do both, you'd be able to be versatile by doing both. So what happened is you do about four loans a day um, or you, you do about four hours work, worth of work when it comes to the loan signing the agent part. Um, four hours a day, literally from 12 to four. Literally, that's all you really need. Um, actually, it might be longer than that because of driving to a certain place and stuff like that. So it might be a little time where you, you actually have to work for like six to eight hours. But then again, you, you just made about $400 in one day. Like $400 in one day, just by working eight hours. Just people that actually work eight hours and actually get paid less than $100 per day. And you just made $400 just by working eight hours. So if you do that, and then after you're done working, doing a loan agent, go ahead and drive around. You drive around, you find houses, and you actually work on wholesaling. Um, now, why, matter of fact, while you're driving to go ahead and do those loan, um, you might be able to um, run, run up to a house where, hey, you find the owner that's selling, you'll be able to network while you're doing loan agent as well, meeting different people, meeting investors, also meeting um, real estate people that actually need help or need a notary agent to actually, or loan agent to actually help them um, get the paperwork done. Uh, you network right there, you actually meet people, hey, okay, now you see somebody actually closing a deal, you might be able to partner up with them. Hopefully you find a better partner than I did on my first deal. Um, but yeah, so those are ways I'd be able to go ahead and add an extra 50 to $100,000 uh, on your income by the end of the year. And that's how I plan on doing it as well. I plan on actually um, taking you guys with me on this journey. So I plan on actually go ahead and filming myself, whatever, record myself um, going through this. And also I, I'll go ahead and keep you guys updated um, with this challenge, I guess you could say. But so yeah, so right now I probably have about three challenges going on. I have the Robin Hood challenge, and I will be notary, and I will try my best to close on at least five to ten deals on um, wholesaling by the end of the year. And if you guys like more videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and also share with your friend. Um, we have more videos about finances and stuff like that um, in this channel. So I don't want you guys to miss out. I don't want you guys to miss out. I can't speak English, but yeah, go ahead and subscribe.